Now that you've perfected your method and acquired some data, let's discuss the ways to quickly display or create reports. In the Analyze tab, you will see it divided into two sections, a record view for selecting data and the analysis workspace for displaying data. Each section can be customized to suit your needs. For example, you can customize the record view simply by clicking the cogwheel and selecting the parameters of interest to view. The parameters can be reordered using the up and down arrow or added and removed using the right and left arrows. Once you're happy with your changes, simply click OK to go back to the record view. To view the full record view, you can simply click on full view and collapse it using the restore view button. Another neat feature in the record view is recalling the method used to collect the data. Simply select the sample, right click, view the method. From here, you can save the method or run another sample with the exact same method conditions. Going back to the Analyze tab, you can also see in the record view there is a way to edit parameters such as viscosity, refractive index, or the data processing algorithm used without the need to rerun samples. Simply right-click on any record and edit the result. It's a good idea to first edit the name to distinguish it from the original record. From there, you can make your changes. For example, maybe you chose the wrong dispersant, so the viscosity value was incorrect. Simply select the correct dispersant, and the data will be automatically recalculated. You can view this in the workspace under the Summary tab, and see the recalculated data, in this case, in orange. You can also use the Result Editor to better understand how each parameter influences the sizing result. For example, you can see the dependence on viscosity in real time with change in the viscosity value, or the effect of Material's Refractive Index, which in this case has no bearing on the intensity size distribution data. Material's Refractive Index becomes important when converting intensity data to volume data or to number data. To save the changes, simply click the green check mark button and you will see your new edited record in the record view. Now let's move to the analysis workspace. Along the top of the screen, you will notice a few options for displaying your data. The reports section allows you to quickly print a default report page for any record selected in the record view. Highlight your record and select the report type. You can print as a PDF or hard copy using the printing button. Some popular reports for sizing include the particle size distribution by intensity, the particle size distribution by volume, and the size quality report. Here is an example of the size quality report. All the instrument settings can be found at the top with a distribution graph and the results found below. The next workspace is the summary page. Here you can view the data quality guidance with any suggestions on how to improve your data. You will also see a quick snapshot of the data for size or zeta potential analysis. Other workspaces include size, zeta potential, particle concentration, and titration. There is also a custom workspace to create your own display of data. You can customize the windows by using the drop-down to select the appropriate type of graph, picture, or table. The green button with three dots can be used further to customize the displayed results. For example, in a parameter list, you can use the settings button to search for parameters and rearrange the order in the table. Now let's move on to the report designer, where you can create customized templates to quickly print a report simply click on the plus symbol to get started. Add a name to your report and select the layout. Click on each green box to select the type of display. In this example, I'll display the size distribution by intensity and let's add a statistics table. I almost forgot. Let's add another display for some details about each of the samples. Simply click on the green box and scroll down to Sample Details. I'll use the default settings for the sample details and graph, but want to customize the statistics table. 
To do this, I'll click on the Settings button. As you can see, there are a lot of parameters to choose from. Thankfully, these are searchable, so you can easily find your parameters of interest. Let's add the polydispersity from the cumulants fit, and the individual peaks from the intensity and the volume distribution. To do this, we'll go to Size Analysis Result, find the intensity peak summary data, and click on Peak 1 Mean, Peak 2 Mean, and Peak 3 Mean. We'll also do this for the volume distribution data, Peak 1 Mean, Peak 2 Mean, and Peak 3 Mean by volume. Once you're happy with your customized parameters, click OK. If you're happy with your report, you can save it by using the Save button. You can view a print preview of your report for the data you have selected. You can also print from the Report Designer or return to the Analyze tab and select More Results to print from the Reports workspace. You will now find your customized report in the Report workspace where you can easily print.